Uh, hello everyone. Uh, short date and learning objective, please. Okay, short date and learning objective, and then we'll go through today's lesson. Okay, um, pause the video while you do that, and then we'll get going. Right, okay, uh, before we start the lesson proper, uh, can we please ensure that we're keeping up with the work and sending it in quickly? I know obviously if you're watching this video, you kind of are keeping up with the work, but it's been noticeable uh, this week, it's been a little bit of a drop off in people sending in their work and back towards the back end of last week. So I will be chasing up on that, please. Okay, so important, you just keep up, keep up on top of everything. Okay. Um, right, so what we're going to do today is slightly different to, uh, we, we, we do to go on to do bearings, but looking through the bearings questions, um, you did need a certain amount of knowledge for some of the questions about sort of angles on parallel lines and things like that. And I get the feeling you didn't do it last year, okay? So we're just going to have one lesson on this, and then next week we will go on to bearings, okay? Uh, right, okay, so the first... Uh, are vertically opposite angles. These are really straightforward, so um, it probably doesn't have, uh, it doesn't come into the work um, uh, uh, this week, uh, uh, next week, I think. But so this just means if this is angle, if angle A, if that's A degrees, so is the opposite angle. Okay, so that means if this, that means this will be B degrees, so the opposite angle is the same. Simple as that. So if this is, um, let's go with this is 70 degrees here. We know that this angle here will also be 70 degrees. And actually we can work out these other two angles, can't we? Because we know all the way around is 360. So these come to 140. Okay, let's bring that in here, sorry. 140 degrees. Take that away from 360. We've got 220 degrees and we can share those out. So this would be... 110 because it's a vertically opposite angle 110 and they both add up to 360 plus we've got a straight line here and angles on a straight line equal 180 okay so and be a lot like that today where you're using different kind of methods so that's really straightforward vertically opposite okay uh, corresponding angles okay so these angles where we have so this angle here Will correspond to this angle here so if this angle is angle a a degrees sorry then that is also a degrees okay and then we've got the same on the other side this angle here will be b degrees and this angle is the same so here we have corresponding angles these are the same okay a and b and b like that now, i don't want to be making notes on this because as part of the work today I've sent you and some notes, uh, the notes, and actually I want you to uh, uh, stick the notes into your book as well. So these will come with notes today, okay? So don't worry too much um, about that. So let's have a look. So if this angle here, if this angle was 31 degrees from there, we know that this angle here is also 31 degrees. Note they're on parallel lines, okay? They have to be on parallel lines. Uh, Obviously, these arrows are showing those parallel lines, aren't they? Um, this doesn't work if the lines are not parallel, by the way. So on parallel lines, so that'll be 31, 31 degrees. Now, again, we know um, uh, this angle here would therefore be uh, uh, 149 degrees because angles on a straight line add up to 180. Let me just check. Yes. Uh, so even... I wouldn't even have to uh, calculate that, okay? I know that would be 149 because these are corresponding angles, okay, on parallel lines. All right. Um, next one, alternate angles, alternate angles, okay? Um, so here, this is, the, this is the one where we have, it's like a Z in, a, in a Z shape. So, for example, if this angle here is uh, 70 degrees, and this angle here will also be 70 degrees. They alternate to each other. They alternate uh, on the uh, the transversal, okay? So that will be, uh, and the same then, obviously, if this one here 
would therefore be 110 degrees because it's a straight line and angles on a straight line equal 180 so this one here is also 110 because they are also alternate okay so alternate it's a bit like it, with alternate is you're looking for the z you're looking for the z and it's the insides of the z and the outside of the z so they will be the same so that yeah the 70 70 like that okay so if you were given uh so here we are if you were given that this angle was 117 degrees you would know straight away well i've got my z here got my z with along the parallel lines so therefore alternate angles also 117 degrees okay this angle then would be uh, 63 degrees because these two are going to add up to 180 so this angle here is also going to be 63 degrees they are alternate angles okay along the parallel lines okay um, and one more before we just have a look at a couple of questions then I'll leave you to it so on your notes these are known as supplementary supplementary but they're also sometimes known as internal angles okay internal angles and again they're along the parallel lines so if this angle here is um this angle here is 70 degrees i can work this angle out here because the internal angles must add up to 180 degrees okay let's just do that sorry so angle a if this is angle a and this is angle b angle a plus angle b will always equal 180 degrees okay will equal 180 degrees so those angles add up add up to 180 and the same obviously on this side but this is angle c and that's angle d okay c plus d equals 180 so it's the internal angles uh, when you've got the parallel lines and the transversal okay so if uh if this here was uh if this was uh 57 degrees okay we could work it and you have to calculate angle a uh, if you want and you're asked to calculate this angle we know that this add that is 180 so this will be uh 123 okay and actually, if we wanted to do this one, then we've got two reasons, and we've got the angles on a straight. Uh, so we've got angles on a straight line equals 180 plus. Then we've got the alternate, which is 57 degrees. Okay, and the same here. If I wanted to find this angle here, I can see I've got my vertically opposite angle, which is 57, but I've also got my corresponding angle, which is 57. Okay. And the same here, I've got my alternate angle here on the 123. So this would be 123 plus it's an angle on a straight line, vertically opposite 123. You can see how you can you get different ways to find these uh, these missing angles. We'll just do um, uh, we'll do a couple of questions and then I will leave you to get on with the work. I think okay. Uh, right. So. Let's have a look at this first one. So if we want to find angle A, if I wanted to find angle A, first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to look at vertically. I've got the 130. There's my vertically opposite angle. A equals 130. Okay. Now, if I wanted to do B, and now I know this is 130 degrees. Now there, from A to B, these are corresponding angles corresponding angle so I know B would be 130 degrees okay so I've got 130 degrees and then I've got another alternate angle here I uh, sorry another vertically opposite angle vertically opposite angle so at C will also be 130 degrees um, normally when you do this work you have to uh, write the reason why with the name of the angle but we won't worry about that now let's have a look now I've gone to do, um, so that's E, uh, sorry, A, B, C, A, B, C. Let's have a look at D, okay, D. So I know that this is 130. 
So here I think I will just go on the internal, the internal angles are equal 180, so that's 130, so that must be 50. Okay. And then E, I've got my Z, wide Z in this case, so I know that the D and E will also be the same. So E is 50. And there's other reasons there, isn't it? Because you've got um, angles on a straight line here, and you've got angles on a straight line. So there's lots of reasons for it. Um, but these, knowing this, actually will be really useful when you come to um, do some of the bearings work, because you have to kind of also find missing angles and things like that. Okay. Um, and I don't think we did this in year seven. Right, let's have a little look. So I've got here, I've got some angles to find. Uh, let's start off with W, okay? I'm going to start off with W, and again, I've here I've got my alternate angles. So I can see that 110 tells me this W equals 110 degrees, okay? Uh, right, let's now go uh, WX, there we go, X equals, I know this is the, my 75, this angle and this angle are corresponding angles, okay? So this and this will be the same, they're corresponding angles, 75 degrees, okay? Y, okay? So Y, I've got my 110 here, okay? So I know that this here, I have my internal angles. So Y is gonna be uh, 110, uh, minus sorry 180 minus 110 so that's going to be 70 degrees 70 okay because i know that that's gonna these two are gonna add up to 180 and then to find z okay uh what's the best way to find z again i've got the internal angles here i know what x is x is 75 so i can find out if x is 75 i'll know that this one has to uh, these two angles have to add up to, add up to 180, so I think that would be 105. There. Uh, Z, 105. Let's just check as well. If, when I add up all these angles, it comes to 360, just to check that I've got that right. So we know that I've got my 110. I've got Y, which is 70. I've got uh, Z, which is 105. And I've got X, which is 75. Let's just add that as a node. Could have gone 714 and 115, 6. Yeah, 360 degrees. So I've also then got my quadrilateral, where all the angles add up to 360. I could find this one here because it's vertically opposite 110. Okay, I could find this one here, uh, which is vertically opposite 110. So it's all these different ways of finding it. Okay, if I wanted to find this one, I can see it's corresponding with Z. Okay, it's corresponding with Z, so it'll be 105. X then is vertically opposite. Okay, uh, X was 75, so this will be 75 degrees. Okay, then I can use my uh, alternate angles. This is 105 here, so I know this is going to be 105. Okay, so it's just lots of different ways to find these, and it helps you with your bear with bearings. The work we're going to do next week, uh, because um, uh, uh, because it, it can cut out you know some of the work for us to do. Okay, some of the work for us to do. Right. Okay. Uh, that'll do us for today. So um, uh, I've attached the work today. So I've attached the notes for this. So please cut it, cut out the notes and stick those in your book, please. And then there are two sheets to do. There are two sheets to do. So there's the first one, which is the first steps. That's the, um, uh, let's just write this down for you, actually. Okay. So we've got, can you put the notes, notes into your book, please? Into your book. Just cut it out and glue it in. Uh, then the first one is the first steps sheet. First steps. So we can all do that one. And actually, I think we can pretty much all then have a go at strengthen as well, please, okay? Strengthen. I'd expect you to do at least half of the strengthen questions, some of you, all of them, okay? So uh, that's just the work for today. So pretty straightforward, but again, it's stuff we need to know going forward into year eight, okay? Uh, 
right good luck with that everyone and um, i will crack on with it again next week Just keep up to date with it please send me in the work as soon as you're done thank you